All right, so we are here with um the Queens native still, Far Rockaway. Yes, sir. My cousin Christian. Um, so uh, I want to get into there a little bit of you know what Queens is like, the land, the city. Um, so just I'm gonna start by asking you like, what was it like growing up there? sense that, you know, because you may go to a different school, you know, all your life, preschool, you went to a different school, kindergarten, first grade, you know, you may go to different schools, so you, you meet different people. For me, I went to a different school for, for, for elementary, for junior high, for preschool, so I, I have a whole bunch of friends, a whole bunch of different people that I know, and, and mutually, they may know each other as well, but definitely i i love i love growing up in new york it's a big city but it's, it's small yeah for sure sure um, um so you said from you know a child you know you go to different schools and stuff like that in the city and you see different people but um what what, what memories do you think you would you know really cherish or remember from your like childhood how me and him really bonded. We used to go to, you know, the Knicks games, the Mets games, Yankees games, whatever, whatever the case may be, we would always jump on the train. Going to church Sunday morning, we would take the train. We were always just, you know, train was a huge statement in my childhood. The A train. Definitely, definitely. A lot of memories. Yeah. Um, another thing is, uh, we have a lot of family out there. Like, you know, we're, 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 we're really deep out there. So what was it what was it like growing up around like not just your immediate family but like also your extended family too and seeing them so often? Well my family it's it's nice having them so close. Uh it's definitely it definitely helps us to be closer as a family. You know, just being able to wake up and walk to my aunt's house and, and hang on my cousins or being able to get up and ask somebody to pick me up from school or, or ask somebody to, you know, help me with my homework, help me with this, help me with that. It's, it's very, it's very close knit having your family live close together. And it's, it's very, it's a very great experience. Um, it was very good for me in my childhood and it's definitely molded me into the person I am today. Just having my family live close is shown the love that I can give. So the love that I get is the same love I reciprocate. So it's definitely helped me grow as a person. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, another thing that I actually wanted to ask you was uh, the boardwalk. I mean, it's a tourist attraction. People, you know, come from a lot of different places in New York to see the boardwalk. And, um, yeah, talk, talk, talk about some of the stuff that goes on there. a statement, a huge statement in Far Rockaway. Um, whether you go out there and you, you have barbecues with your family, uh, your friends want to throw a little bonfire, they want to have a, a, a meetup, you know, it's just families, families can go there, work out, just walk up and down, it spans from, from about Beach Nine to, to like the hundreds, so it, 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 it runs very long for miles and miles, so people work out there go there and, and run, ride your bike, play basketball, you go to the beach, like mm -hmm. everything's, it's, it's all right there. They're starting to put stores up on the boardwalk now, it's a, it definitely brings a lot more people these days to, to Far Rockaway, because when I was a kid, it wasn't looked at to be, to be the best, you know, yeah. Far Rockaway wasn't a, a good area, so people didn't come around, they considered our beach a dirty beach, and so people didn't mm -hmm. come around to do things like that over there, but you know, now things are changing. More and more people are, are, are coming out, more and more people are moving over. More and more people notice that, that oh, it's, it's easy, it's just one train, I take care and get off and walk in the boardwalk right there, walking distance from yeah. just about any A train stop in Far Rockaway, the boardwalk is walking distance, so it runs parallel to the train. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah, definitely big. 
Yes, yeah. Um, so I also wanted to ask you about the city itself. Like, um, Sandy hit Far Rockaway, like, really, really hard. I remember how, you know, because we were going to the trip. We were going to uh, True Holy at the time, I believe. And, um, you know, just, just going and seeing how, like, destruction, you know, how much the city had been affected by it. What do you think was, like, the most memorable times and the hardest times throughout throughout those? Well, the hardest was being able to be with my family. Um, sorry. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, my family, they all just came over. And since everybody had no power, we were all just in one place. We had a generator. Yeah. We had all the heaters. We had, we had everything we needed to, to cook and everything we needed to to you know survive so so it was good fellowshipping and spending time with my family just playing board games and staying up and we got our flashlights and you know it was it was it was really good but we had a, a lot of people staying in our house because we all lived in the same area yeah. so only one of us had the generator so we only we all came to to my house and everything was good but for our community it was it was horrible it was it was terrible because we weren't prepared for it. We were, we were very ill prepared for what was gonna happen. Even on the news, they weren't sure whether it was gonna be bad or whether mm -hmm. it was gonna be, you know, just thunderstorm, rain, you know, so it was it was hard to call it. But we definitely were covered better than ever. We came together as a community to build different things back and to, and to, to you know, make it a better community but there are definitely certain people that didn't come back to their homes certain people that yeah. that just left forever after sandy they were yeah. like you know i don't want to be this close to something like this and people just left and never to look back so you know the city bought some land and, and, and some of the houses the people didn't come back and, you know the insurance company they would get that insurance money and they would do different things of that sort but it was definitely a tragic time for, for our community as a whole yeah, yeah, um, I mean, yeah, like I said, you know, at the time, I was, we were, we were still going out there, so just seeing the way, you know, the, the city was affected, it was, it was pretty tough, um, another thing is, uh, I see, like, last time I was out there, I saw a YMCA, um, I don't know how new that is, but even the boardwalk, you, like you said, how the boardwalk has a couple of courts. Last time I was out there, like the board, there was none of that on the boardwalk. You know, one of the previous times I was there, but you know. Well, you have to, you have to for the for a lot of the courts and things like that. You have to go, you have to go a little bit up the beach. They're spaced out all over, but they've been there. The, the basketball courts and all the courts by the boardwalk, they've been there mm -hmm. from when I was a kid. But the YMCA is. is is, is fairly new. The YMCA is something that I was wasn't accessible to me when I was when I was coming up as a kid. Um, it wasn't until about after I graduated high school or, or you know if my first year in college that, that the YMCA came up. It was probably after Sandy mm -hmm. that we got something like that. I think, um, but definitely something that helps our community is probably one of the only. One of the only gyms, we don't have that many gyms, one of two or one of three gyms we have in Far Rockaway as a whole. Yeah. Um, the YMCA is definitely one of those that, that provides a, a space for our community to come and, and work out and be healthy and be fit. Yeah. So definitely, I definitely like that. You know, they do their things for the kids in the summer. The YMCA has definitely um, become a bit of a statement in our community. But mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's fairly new. Yeah, nice, nice. Um... So, the last thing I'm going to ask here is, uh, you know, we just talked about a lot of the changes that took place in the city. So, what more do you think the city needs to do to really maximize its potential? Uh, to maximize the potential of the, of the city, I feel like they, they really need to, um, they need to hear the voice of the people and see what, what it is that we need to happen in our city. You know, yeah. they, they get a lot of money and they put a lot of money to, to transportation. They throw a lot of money to the police. They put a lot of money into housing. But um, 
there's certainly there's certainly other things that, that we can be putting money into, you know, mm-hmm. such as education, um, you know, getting better schools, uh, getting better curriculums in our schools, yeah. you know, doing better to just, you know, shape our youth, our youth are our next generation, and our youth are going to lead us one day. So, so I feel like the best way to make our community better is to to expound on the minds of, of the young people coming up. Make sure they're prepared. Make sure they're ready to, to run the city when when we're gone. Make sure make sure they're ready to you know do things that that will benefit us. They're mm-hmm. gonna be smarter than us. They're gonna be you know more techy than us. There's gonna be new technology that they know how to work that we don't. So like you know our our education system is something that we really need to to put money into. And I feel like you know uh, as we have Black Lives Matter and all the things going on, yeah. people are trying, people are people are really trying to advocate to refund you know different things and to defund different things as well. Mm-hmm. So I feel like you know the the people and the voice need to be heard certainly. And I feel like then and only then can we be a better community and can we be a better city. Yeah. When everyone's on one accord, we need oneness. Definitely. Um, yeah, man, that's that's about all I got for you today. Uh, I appreciate you coming on here to talk about your personal experiences and just the city in general, giving an update. I'm but, glad I can help. Yeah. All right, my man. I, pre- I appreciate it. Definitely. Always love. Yeah.